Now there's only a few areas around the Metroplex that are already established, but poised for some big time expansion. And the suburb we're going to touch on today has some desirable pros, but at the same time, there are a couple of things that might make you scratch this one off the possible options. All right, so let's start with the house. The average home value in Grand Prairie is around $330,000, which if you compare that with the rest of DFW with an average of $445,000, you're definitely gonna get a deal. And even if you compare that with the national average in the US of three hundred and sixty dollars Grand Prairie is still under budget and very affordable in regards to those home prices. You know, I've been an avid investor in Grand Prairie for a number of years now because I definitely see the value that Grand Prairie really has, right? For me, Grand Prairie has been a diamond in the rough and it's been my little secret because a lot of people don't necessarily know about this city. I have an Airbnb over there and a couple other rental properties. And from a return on investment standpoint, it's been amazing. This is amazing. Now, the one thing I will say is my property taxes have gone up like crazy over the past three to four years, which I'm not necessarily thrilled about, but that also means the value and the equity in these homes have also risen. You know, you're gonna have a different array of options from smaller starter homes up to big, beautiful custom ones. My last client bought a home like this one over by Joe Pool Lake, which they were extremely happy to get, right? The home has this grand staircase with all of the bells and whistles. So if you're looking for some good real estate options, Grand Prairie has you covered. Now, if this is your first time on the channel, my name is Mark with the Dallas Relocation Guide, and we help people buy, sell, and relocate here to the DFW Metroplex. Our channel is all about living, eating, and sleeping here in Dallas. So if you'd like to schedule some time to talk with us, feel free, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, all of our contact infos down in the description below and pinned to the top of the chat. Now, speaking from personal experience, one thing I would like to bring to your attention is over in Grand Prairie, what I've seen from clients and what I've seen myself from buying property over there is you want to get a thorough foundation inspection. I don't know what it is about this particular area, but I have seen higher rates of foundation problems with properties needing piers added to level the foundation out, properties having leaks in their plumbing due to the shifting and whatnot. Now, the age of these homes absolutely come into play with this, but it's just something that you should definitely be aware of and just take your precautions because before you buy, you always want to take a look at your home in that area. So when it comes to the location, Grand Prairie is in a pretty good spot just to be around the DFW, right? Look, if you're moving to Texas, you're going to have to get used to driving your car around quite a bit. That's just a fact of life here in Dallas. So Grand Prairie is pretty centrally located, right? It's going to take you about 15 to 20 minutes to get to downtown Dallas. It'll be about 20 to 25 minutes to get to downtown Fort Worth. You're just 10 minutes from Arlington and all the entertainment over there at AT&T and Ranger stadiums. It's only going to be about 20 minutes to get over to the airport. So it's relatively easy to get around living in Grand Prairie. You'll have access to all the shops and restaurants you'll need like Walmart, Kroger, Home Depot. There's Lowe's over there. They also have Sam Club off of I-20 down there. They've really actually been building up a lot of new commercial over off of 161, the President George Bush Highway. And that's a toll road over there. You know, they just built up a door over there, which is an upscale bar that really only exists in downtown Dallas and downtown Addison, which really makes me excited for what's going on and the vision that they have for Grand Prairie. You know, there's a chicken and pickle over there, which is this restaurant where you can go and play pickleball if that's your sort of thing. And there's a lot of other things coming to that area as well. They've also been building thousands of luxury apartment units because the investors there see the future of Grand Prairie's expansion and where the housing market is headed in that area. Now, when it comes to the parks and recreation, I'm gonna say this is a con as Grand Prairie is a bit limited in regards to parks. There's definitely gonna be a lot more parks located in other areas around the Metroplex. Grand Prairie hasn't just necessarily invested a ton in biking and walking trails, but you do have Joe Pool Lake that's on the Southern tip of the city, right? And that's definitely a big draw for a lot of people, especially during the holidays, right? They have this Christmas Prairie Lights, which a lot of people go down to. That's where they hang thousands of Christmas lights throughout a specific area. And you can hop in your car and kind of roll through and see all the different designs. Uh, I remember a few years ago, we took our family down there right around the time, you know, my youngest turned two and he was in the car and he was just mesmerized with all the lights, guys. This is an annual thing and definitely something that you might want to go and check out. It seems like the entire town shows up every time they have the event. 
Now, when it comes to the cost of living, Grand Prairie is relatively affordable. Now, if we zoom out and look at this from a national level, Grand Prairie is 1.4% higher than the national average. But if we look at it in comparison to some of the other cities around Dallas, Grand Prairie is 3.8% lower than the rest of the Metroplex. So at the time of this video for a typical one bedroom apartment over in the area, you'll be paying anywhere from, you know, 1300 to 1600 a month. Expect your light bill to be 80 to $200, depending if you're in a smaller apartment or a house, your water bill should run you about 60 to 120 dollars just depending on the amount of bathrooms now when it comes to property taxes grand prairie's tax rate is two and a half percent and when it comes to the insurance i'm not gonna lie grand prairie seems to have much higher premiums than a lot of other areas around dallas I just spoke with one of my insurance providers who told me a lot of companies are vacating Grand Prairie altogether. So the ones that are left are charging a premium for insurance. And look, that's just due to the more frequent insurance claims and quite frankly, the supply and demand since there's just not as many insurance companies willing to cover you in that area. But overall, Grand Prairie is definitely one of the more affordable areas in Dallas and should be considered when you're looking at areas to make your move. Now, when it comes to shopping at restaurants, I'm a little torn with this category because Grand Prairie does have some options and I don't want to call it limited, but it's like a step above limited, right? I truly believe this is a con that is currently turning into a pro. So over in the Epic Central area, they have some nice new developments happening. There's numerous restaurants being built over in that area. There's smaller chain eatery like First Watch, which is this amazing breakfast spot. Guys, if you've never been to First Watch, I implore you to go and have yourself some breakfast over there. Every time we're over in Grand Prairie to check on one of our properties, especially in the mornings, we're stopping in having some bacon and eggs, right? They have the omelets. I mean, you name it, they've got it. And it's just really, really good food. There's also a Twin Peaks over in this area. They have a Longhorn Steakhouse and a bunch of other options as well. But once you get outside of this area, there isn't much more in terms of restaurants. There is one other area on the east side of town, but again, it's relatively limited. You might have a Chipotle over there. Nothing too fancy, right? But you do have easy access to Arlington right off of Highway I-20. And Arlington has tons of options over in that area. It'll probably take you like 15 minutes, so you'll have that available as well. Now, as far as the shops, you have some pretty recognizable brands. Uh, they just built a new hotel over in the area. That's some of the new bars that's going up. There's an indoor water park over there, different play areas and activities for the family. So you can take advantage of some of those options Grand Prairie has to offer as they're really trying to bring more attention and more attraction over to this area. Now, one of the really nice staples of Grand Prairie is going to be over at the outlets. So they have this nice outdoor outlet mall with all your favorite brands. You can really end up spending a ton of money over here if you're the type of person that likes to go shopping. The last time I was over there was for some Christmas shopping for our boys and my wife and I ended up spending like $600. So I know Dave Ramsey probably wouldn't approve, but it's really, really cool spot to grab a few items, especially during the holidays. All right, so now let's talk about a touchy subject, guys, and that's gonna be the crime situation. So crime in Grand Prairie is a bit of a gray area, right? On a scale of one to 100, with one being non-existent and 100 being San Quentin State Penitentiary, Grand Prairie came in at 19.3, which when compared to the national average of 22.7, it's actually lower than most other places. You know, for me, I spent a lot of time in Grand Prairie, and for for me, there's like two different sides. You have the northern part and you have the southern part of Grand Prairie, which is going to be north of Pioneer Parkway. And then you have everything below that. On the north side is where you're going to have some more affordable homes. The homes will be a lot older. And on the southern side, homes will be a little bit newer, more established neighborhoods with HOAs. Joe Pool Lake is located down there on the southern side as well. So I will say I see a lot more police cars driving around on the northern side than the southern side, right? Home values tend to be a little bit higher down in the south than in the north. So just do your research whenever you're thinking about making this move over on this side of town. Now, as far as schools are concerned, Grand Prairie ISD has an overall rating of a B, and that's gonna be according to niche.com. You know, it's a pretty diverse school district with 92% graduation rates. You know, there's plenty of schools with the student to teacher ratio being 16 to one, right? The average ACT score here is gonna be 23, and the average SAT score is probably around 1100, right? The ISD has about 27,000 students that attend, and you can even go over to niche.com and read some of the reviews yourself from the people that actually send their kids there. You know, they interact with the faculty on a day Daily basis and this can really give you a good gauge on how your kids education would be down in Grand Prairie. Now when it comes to choosing the right area for you and your family we definitely know how challenging that can be sometimes just trying to search things up on the internet so if you'd like to know more about living in Dallas you can check out these videos right here.